Russia gaining an ally in China as the country's president plans to visit Moscow on Monday in an apparent show of support. But Poland, on the other hand, is siding with Ukraine, announcing overnight that they will send another dozen fighter jets to that country. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy live now at the White House with a response from President Biden. Ben. Well, Calvin, Nicole, Calvin Eden, that is, the White House said earlier this year they would not send fighter jets to Ukraine and will not be swayed by Poland's decision. That being said, so far, the U.S. has sent some nearly $25 billion in military aid for Ukraine. Welcome. It's good to have you back. President Joe Biden in the Oval Office with Ireland's Prime Minister. It's there they talked about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. I never thought we'd see a war like this happen in Europe uh, in my lifetime. His remarks come as China's President Xi prepares to visit Moscow next week to show support for Russian President Vladimir Putin. This is something that we're keeping a very close eye on. Uh, interestingly, in China's so-called peace plan, one of the things that they highlight at the very top is respect for the sovereignty of all countries. The meeting comes as the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for Putin, accusing him of being involved in a scheme to deport thousands of Ukrainian children to Russia. It is forbidden by international law for occupied powers to transfer civilians from the territory they live in to other territories. Children enjoy special protection under the Geneva Convention. Meanwhile, both Poland and Slovakia announced plans to send MiG-29 fighter jets to Ukraine, the first two NATO members to fulfill Kyiv's request for war planes, key military aid that Ukraine says is needed to defend itself. And the Biden administration will be watching Monday's talks between Russia and China very closely to make sure there's no movement of any lethal military aid from Beijing to the Kremlin. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Okay, Ben, thanks a lot.